What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today I wanna to give you guys an introduction to batteries. So on the table, we have some rechargeables. On the left, these are 900s. On the right, we have some 750s, and then the back, those are 800s. So what do those numbers mean? Basically, the numbers refer to the milliamp hours. So these 900s will have a longer runtime than the 750s. So you might be asking, why would you even wanna get the 750s if the 900s have a longer runtime? Well, the difference between these two is the discharge rate. These batteries will provide more power to your car because they have a higher discharge rate. So these batteries have a longer runtime, but these batteries provide more power and actually have less milliamp hours in total. So these won't last nearly as long as these batteries will, but these ones will be really good for a racing scenario where a tenth of a second actually matters and you need to get every inch of performance out of your car. These will help you there. So these are really good batteries. And then these 800s in the back, these are a good middle of the road style battery. And unfortunately, I only have three cells because one of them ruptured on me. I was trying to maintain these batteries as best as I could, but I still had one of them fail on me. So that's why I went ahead and switched over to the PN Racing brand because I feel like these are fresher cells. People are always buying the PN Racing batteries on their website, so they go through them very, very quickly. So I know that these are basically fresh batteries from the factory. So I'm really excited to try these out. My goal for today's video is to give you guys an analysis of these batteries. And I'm gonna open these up, I'm gonna bind this car up, and I'm gonna run this car today. And I'm gonna basically compare the performance of these two batteries and then when I'm done with that we'll circle back and I'll give you guys a review of these and let you know what my overall thoughts on them are because this is my first time using these batteries but like I said I want to show you guys my car ripping around on the track with the, the two batteries to see if we have any difference between them and then so when we're done I'll circle back and give you guys my thoughts my opinion on these batteries and really if there's any noticeable difference or if it really comes down to track times which is something you're not really going to notice just by looking at the car. We got the PN 900s in the car right now, and I just wanted to basically do a drag test down the straightaway and see how quick it goes. So let's get it. All right. Holy, those look way faster. Now that I've had a chance to test both sets of batteries and run a full cycle through this car over here, I wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts and opinion on them. And wow, I'm very impressed with these 750s. These are gonna be my new go-to battery because these provide significantly more punch than the 900s. It's noticeable. You see the car accelerate harder and another unexpected side effect, I guess, is that your servo gets more power too, and it makes your steering more responsive. So I noticed going from the 900s to the 750s that my car accelerated quicker and actually it turned a little bit quicker. So these 750s are definitely gonna be my new go-to because I thought 900s would last significantly longer than the 750s, but that's not the case. The 750s have plenty of runtime, and like I said, they provide more acceleration and they provide more steering response. So these are definitely my new go-to. And if you need more runtime out of them, just pick up a couple extra sets. I'm probably gonna get at least three, maybe four more sets of these so I can be running all day long with them and just keep a set on the, on the charger and have plenty of spares to run the car. So I'm really excited for these guys. I highly recommend these 750s. These are definitely my new go-to. And like I said, I'm gonna buy more of them. So I can't endorse these highly enough. Definitely get yourself some high discharge batteries because the steering response alone is a great reason to get it. And like I said, it's not like they have a crazy significant less runtime with them. They still have a solid runtime. So these are definitely great batteries. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time.